Hey guys, here's a video of my 2018 Indian Scout Bobber with the 240 rear wheel and tire from RC Components. Uh, I had a video up earlier this week, um, but there was some information on there that I gave that's incorrect and I want to correct that and not misinform anyone. Um, let's do a quick walk around. This will not be a video of me riding the bike. My next video I will publish um, will have a drone following me and you know it's going to be the the bike in action so to speak so keep an eye out for that um, looks awesome man uh, I'm going to show you the clearance that you're going to have uh, about a quarter of an inch on that side and about a quarter of an inch on the belt side now this is what they're going to send you other than the wheel and tire okay they're going to send you the spacers to move your right side shock as you can see right here so we can bring that out they will send you this fin spacer that goes between the brake caliper holder and the uh, swing arm they will send you this wheel spacer that you're gonna swap from your uh, your belt pulley and then they're gonna send you another spacer that you're gonna put behind the sprocket behind here now when you remove these four hex heads here this will come off and then there'll be a bracket over your 36 millimeter drive nut okay uh, you're, so you're going to use a 36 millimeter um, use an impact wrench if you've got one if you try and uh, do it without one it'll be a lot harder so you don't need to lock any gears up like I mentioned in my previous video um, so I figured out just zip it off with the impact wrench it's a 36 millimeter put the spacer behind it put the uh, the uh, the pulley back on put this on and that moves the whole belt out this way um, what they don't tell you in the instructions from RC components is that you have to remove this axle spacer from your stock rear wheel and slide it on here if you don't put that on there what's going to happen when you tighten the rear axle nut down it's going to pull the swing arm in and it's going to throw the rear brake off so it's just going to grind after I got past that, everything works. Uh, and it, it rides great. Uh, the handling is, of course, going to be a little bit differently, uh, different going from a 150 to a 240, uh, but you just get used to it. Um, if you're going to order the wheel from RC Components and you want to maintain the front bobber wheel, the wheel that you're going to have to order from RC Components is called the Raider wheel. The Raider wheel is a similar match to the front wheel of the bobber. Now what I did, I ordered what's called their stalker rear, rear wheel, which is meant to match this Indian Scout 60 wheel. So that's what I did. If you've got any questions about any uh, mods that I've done to this bike so far, just check out my other videos. I've got everything on um, how I did the tank decals to how I modified the mirrors. Um, to how I came up with the backing plate uh, right here so just check out my other videos uh, also another video I'm going to come up with I have a front fender for this with the uh, Indian war bonnet on the front I'm gonna put that on there just to show you what your bobber will look like with the war bonnet on the front fender it's not something that I'm gonna keep on my bike um, I'm not going to crank this uh, the bike up on this video because I already have that cranked up on the Radical Radius uh, video. So check that out if you want the sound on the bike. Um, this is just for visuals looking at the 240 uh, rear wheel and tire. If you got any questions, just uh, post and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.